no grandma. Royal aides leak Queen final message before her death declared cut has out of $500 million will. The Queen was very careful about expressing her personal opinions in public, conscious of the limits her position placed on her, but once or twice, Her Majesty's true feelings bubbled to the surface. Queen Elizabeth's terse response to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey contained the cutting line recollections may vary. In the brief official statement released two days after the interview aired in the US, Her Majesty said that the royal family was saddened to hear how unhappy Meghan and Harry had been, and stressed that Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much-loved family members. But, when it came to some of the more damning accusations made by the Sussexes, Her Majesty's statement simply said some recollections may vary, hinting that in her view, the Duke and Duchess hadn't been entirely truthful. During that bombshell interview, Meghan complained that she had been silenced by the royal machine, and was offered no support when the stresses of royal life brought on a mental health crisis. The Duchess had also claimed that there had been concerns and conversations about how dark, Archie's, skin might be when he's born, although she refused to name the royals at the heart of that speculation. Christopher Wilson, writing in the Daily Express, said that the official statement from Buckingham Palace was a hint at Her Majesty's deep disappointment with Harry. The tragedy is that Prince Harry, her darling grandson, was unable to grasp the concept of family beyond the one he created for himself, he wrote. We will never know what anguish, the Queen, went through as he fled Britain for the US so ignominiously with his wife, Meghan, turning his back on everything the Queen herself stood for. But her one dry statement, recollections may vary, tells us all we need to know about her private disappointment. In other news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have reportedly rejected King Charles' pleas to reconnect and rebuild bonds. An inside source close to the palace revealed this news in a candid chat with the Mirror. The insider began by noting Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's refusal to patch things up with King Charles III and Queen Elizabeth, before the monarch's passing. The insider started off by dishing over the olive branch the Sussexes completely refused and was also quoted saying, he, Charles, hasn't wavered, despite the attacks which seem to be coming with increased vigor. The source also recounted King Charles' invitation and claimed, the, former, Prince of Wales reiterated his invitation for Harry and Meghan, and the whole family if they wished, to come and stay with him this summer while he is at his home on the Balmoral estate. He, Charles, thought it might be a good opportunity for everyone to take stock and relax, but the invitation was declined, as it has been before. This comes shortly after Piers Morgan attacked Meghan Markle for allegedly trying to egg on Prince Harry against his father, the King. He today's Karl Stefanovic, I hope he can reconcile his sons, I hope Meghan Markle will back off the rails now and give them some time and space for Charles to be a king and to grow as a king. Space for Charles to-